Hello everybody and today I'm going to be going over all the new information that's been provided um, by Mechanist uh, over the past couple days and there's a lot going on. A lot of our questions uh, have been answered. Mechanist was very quick with getting a press release out to answer a lot of things that were going around uh, explaining exactly why uh, the R2 servers did shut down and why they took it back and a lot of information um, about what's going on with the current players on R2, players that play during alpha and beta, and, and all that good stuff. So what we'll do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to give a brief expl uh, explanation real quick because most of this information you guys can go and view yourselves. Um, again, right now, right now, cos.r2games.com, you can still go there and play a bit, but um, that's be this is being shut down. These servers are being shut down, and then sometime... Maybe next month, you know, after maybe the 21st, uh, the 21st, when this gets shut down, maybe uh, Mechanist will open up their servers. There's no time set right now when Mechanist will open up their servers for the you know, new City of Steam Arcadia. So it's all just keep an eye on their website, uh, www.cityofsteam.com is going to be the new site to log in and play the game and, and do all that. So they'll have their forums up, the game up, and everything uh, when it's ready. So I'll just give a quick overview, and uh, let's begin. Alright, so what we see here is the new is going to be the new log in the new page, www.cityofsteam.com. And you've got the, you know, the coming soon, this was the first information that was provided. They give you a bunch of information up there, what's going on. But the main issue is shown in the press release. And as you can see here, it's got the, the new login and the, uh, you know, where you put your login and password. Right now, this only works for people that had um, old Mechanist accounts. And really, there's no point if you're an R2 player or anything to make a new account because there's nothing there to um, to see right now. You know, there's there's no forms, there's no game up or anything. But uh, right now, we're unsure what's going on. Um, some people are saying, don't if you're an R2 player, don't make an account right now because if you're reading the press release, it's saying that you're going to get some uh, compensation on your account if you were an R2 player. So you know it might cause issues if you have that account and then they try to make another account so for now just wait and wait till see what's going on if they put any information out there as far as that alright and again this was the coming soon the first link they had um, you can go over and read it real quick there's not a whole lot of information on this section uh, most of the information that's provided is in the press release and there's a lot of information there. The main part that we're, I want to take a look at is the whole thing that it applies to the English versions, to the uh, to the R2 servers. All right, so here we can see the part of the press release that's important. It explains how they're talking about compensating the alpha and beta testers um, because uh, back then you could put in like packages, like it's like benefactor packages, and because Mechanist at that time was running. Um, the servers and running the game, they're going to fully reimburse them for their their Electrum and their packages, which is a good thing. I'm glad they're doing it. I agree with this 100% that those people should get all that back. And then you can also see on this part of the press release that it explains about the whole compensation thing for us players that started playing on R2 and anything we have in on R2. Now, this this part, like it says here, it is a little a, a little touchy because they don't know exactly how they're going to compensate us. Um, it's not very clear whether or not us as R2 players, people who put in money to R2, will get any sort of reimbursement. Because I'm not too sure if that money all went to R2 or they get a part of it or not. The money that went to um, Mechanist directly would be all the money that was given to them from the benefactors when they ran it. So that's why they're getting fully reimbursed. I don't know the whole situation. I don't know the details about money that was given to R2 um, and all that. So... Uh, we'll have to wait and see if we get reimbursed for anything electrum wise uh, as R2 players. Like me personally, I have, uh, I put money in, actually the night before I put in money, the night before the servers went down, I came home the next day in the afternoon to find out that it's being shut down. So $60, pff, gone. When I first started playing two and a half, three months ago, I put in 20 bucks. So total I have 80 bucks in. I have an Electrum uh, Pet, the Shield Master. I have an Electrum Jetpack, the Steam Ray, the $40 one. I have um, 
the golden gauntlets that were like 16 bucks, the, the cosmetic gauntlets. I have a steam bike, a green squall steam bike, Electrum steam bike. That was actually, I didn't pay for that. That was actually gifted to me from a, a loyal uh, company member slash a YouTube follower um, that have, that we've known from each other for a while. Thank you very much, uh, J83, Telgo Bravis. Thank you for the bike. Um, hopefully, I get some credit for that onto the, uh, the mechanist servers. I wouldn't want to lose that. Um, but... Also, there's Spire Marks. Like I said, when we used to log in and play with the R2 servers, Spire Marks. I don't know if they'll honor any Spire Mark items because, again, that was earned through playing the game. It wasn't directly related with Mechanist. It had to do with R2. So I don't know if we'll get credit with that. Spire Mark-wise, like on my tune, I have the full Spire Marks cosmetic set. I have the um, the cosmetic jetpack that I had that I used before I got the Electrum jetpack. That was 3,000 Spires, plus the full cosmetic set. Um, I have blue... Uh, goggles that are give me plus 16 bonus to shillings i have from the old old collection the von fall shield crest the shield uh cosmetic i got from a company member that gave me that so i also have that that's you can't even get that in the r2 version anymore so i don't know if that would be any get any credit for that they're not very they're not very um there's no real details out yet as far as when they say compensation because it says it goes by player spec so again we don't know if we're as R2 players if we're going to get any credit for the electron we put in um, we don't know how it's based what they mean by spec um, could it be your gear itself that can be a little iffy because like with gear like I said some there's some purples that are better than oranges it's all, it's all about the stats defense or what do you want so some gear just be, you can't always go by color because some gear might be better than the other also like you said in annex some of the bosses were bugged some items were bugged it could be an orange but have half the resistance it's supposed to be um, so as far as gear, I don't know if they can go by actually the gear pieces, the colors, maybe upgrades. Maybe they can figure out, oh, determine playtime and how much metal you put into your gear. As far as upgrades, maybe they're going to compensate that way. Um, mods, you know, as I said, like doing uh, alpha and beta, of if that stuff got carried over, it was easier to merge mods then than it is now. So people will have from them will have higher grade mods than players now. Because like now, trying to, I have a lot of fours going to fours and fives. Trying to get a six is, is in, almost impossible. And most people don't have sixes that are played strictly on R2 because it's a 30% chance. I tried three times, I failed. So as far as mods, we don't know um, if, if the, any of that will get counted as character spec. It's very vague right now with character spec. So, and they didn't announce anything. I'm sure they've got to work out all the fine details. Like I said, if you have Electrum in or not, so Spire Marks earned stuff, your gear, all that stuff's got to be because you've got gear that was in now and gear that's pre, uh, you know, pre patch gear that was 32 level gear, stuff orange that used to drop from uh, the Paragons that don't drop anymore. There's, like I said, old cosmetics that aren't available anymore. So there's a lot of stuff that I guess they have to take into consideration as far as what they mean by uh, the R2 players. And then we say, based on your character spec, maybe your level, the character level, how many characters you have on your account, maybe. Me, I've always spent all my time on my main. I have a level 7 gunner I hardly ever played. And I have my 38 order, which all my playtime was dumped into my 38 order. So... As far as that, we'll, uh, we'll get, let's see what else we can touch up on. Well, I mean, overall, I think this is a good thing. I mean, like I said, if you were playing on the R2 time, me as a player of three months, I was always dealing with R2, so I, um, I, I didn't get to experience all the good times around when Mechanist was around. And, you know, we, we, I sort of gave them flack about not talking on the forums and this and that. And, and if you read the press release, you can see they, they had issues with their PR department. So they didn't have anybody, I really, to talk on the forums. And also, that was R2's responsibility to inform us on the forums, what was going on. So, again, I mean, I apologize a bit for that. Because um, all that was really R2's responsibility to keep us informed on the forums and this and that, which none of that was going to do. We went for five months without anything going on. And I guess Mechanist said enough. They, they bought the game back. And, I mean, it's a good thing. There's going to be new content added. A lot of the bugs should be gone. There's going to be a lot more stuff to do. There should be a lot old faces and new faces all coming back into the game. And, um, again, you can check out all this information, all this stuff you see here. It's www.cityofsteam.com. That's going to be the new site where you're going to log in, where you're going to play the game and all that stuff. You know, and like I said, follow it there at the site cityofsteam.com. Uh, follow Facebook. They're going to be putting stuff, I'm sure, on Facebook, what's going on. Twitter, you can go on Twitter, on their Twitter, and follow that. Um, you know. So, I mean, overall, yeah, it's a good thing. Um, the main thing is compensation. You know, like with me, it really depends. I have so much stuff on my tune. It really depends how much the compensation is. If they, if I feel comfortable with the compensation, I'll probably play. If they don't, If I don't feel comfortable with what I'm being compensated with, personally, I won't, I won't, you know, I won't waste my time. 
But me being a PV play, a PVP player, I see this as a good thing because, like, as some of you know in the current situation, the PVP queues were dead. Um, you know, you couldn't get your rating up. You, for you to get your rating up, you had to play a lower level tune that you had twinked out with a higher level tune, twinked out the gear, and then once you got to the 30 to 38 bracket, there was no PvP. So like me, I didn't PvP when I was lower level. I couldn't get a rating because there was no players. Like, you wait all day to go to play a tournament, and that was it. And to me, as, a, as a, a, a person, I like the PvE content, but honestly, the PvE content needs some tweaking. The PvE and the dungeons, to me, were too boring and too repetitive. There was no challenge for the bosses or anything, so hopefully that gets worked on. And then, as, like I said, when it came to PvP, there wasn't, there wasn't enough player base to keep PvP going. Um... So overall, the game is getting pretty dull and pretty repetitive, to be honest with you. So I'm looking forward to these changes. Um, so again, www.cityofsteam.com. Um, we'll just have to see how everything goes. Like I said, the main thing a lot of people will be waiting for, keeping your eye on, is if they release any more information about how they're going to compensate us players um, when the whole switchover happens. Well, I hope, you know, I provided some information for you uh, with this video. I'm sorry about the way the video is formatted, how it goes to a screenshot and back and forth. The reason for that is I use an older version of Fraps to record, and <clears throat> it doesn't like to record um, desktop and uh, browser stuff because it's actually meant to record while you're in-game. So I kind of have to start up City of Steam, kind of log in and then log out, and then it'll start recording, and it won't allow me to switch back to another web page and keep recording properly. So I had to record this and put the, uh, the banner up top, and then I had to throw in screenshots from the site. I mean, you get the general idea. Just go to www.cityofsteam.com. Everything I showed here and I talked about, you can see there. You can see the first announcement they put on coming soon. The press release, you can scroll down. There's a lot of information in the press release. Check out there. Keep it on Facebook and Twitter. And we'll all see how it goes. And hopefully, you know, everything goes good. They, we, we all feel, you know, um, we all feel it's a good thing. Um, and hopefully it all goes good for Mechanist. And hopefully I will see you all in the game when the Mechanist servers come back up. This is Daytora, and I'll catch you later.